Allosaurus is a predatory dinosaur from the late Jurassic period, about 145 to 150 million years ago. It tended to be about 30 feet long, and it could weigh anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. It had long arms that were used for grasping prey, so they had three sharp claws on them, and had a very large head uh, filled with uh, somewhere between 70 and 80 knife-like teeth. Today we're working on the Allosaurus, which is on, on exhibit here at the Smithsonian. Um, the mount was put up about 1981, and uh, what it's due for is a, a nice new pose and a bit of an overhaul. The mounts that were used in the hall have been in their same postures basically since they were mounted anywhere from the early 1900s through 1940s, 50s, and 60s. And since then, we've learned a lot about dinosaur anatomy. We've found out a lot more about their postures and their physiology. And so we need to update the information that's in our paleo halls to reflect current knowledge of paleobiology. We do a little bit of, of tracking on the bones, so, so we know exactly what's going into each case and each crate. And then uh, it, it, it's labeled and marked. The basic idea is to dismantle it in reverse order that it was assembled um, out on the hall. So generally the head comes off first, you got to figure out how the head was attached, and then the tail, and then you just kind of work your way in. For dismantling to be shipped to another place, you want to get pieces off in uh, sort of big a chunk as possible, like a, an entire limb bone might come off as one unit then be packed up. At a couple points, it looked like we were cutting to the actual fossil, but, but it wasn't. It was cast material. How it was mounted, they, they ran a steel armature through the center of the bone. So like pearls on a string all the way through. So we had no choice but to uh, go through there with a the saw. Once the Allosaurus is dismantled here, it will be packed up very carefully and shipped to a company called RCI, Research Casting International. And they have a facility outside Toronto, Canada, where they specialize in developing and reconstructing dinosaur mounts. So it'll spend some months there as they do that. They'll create a metal armature for the skeleton. Then the whole thing will get dismantled again, brought back here, and installed in the new hall when that's ready. This is probably one of the best jobs we've had. You know, you can't be coming down to Washington, D.C., working with the National Collection. And, uh, We'll treat it right and you know, when the animals come back they'll, they'll just be spectacular display.